Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to create this uh, Viking scene. Uh, we start with this background, then we are going to add our Viking and at the end of the tutorial you'll learn how to apply those effects to achieve this result. So we have this photo of uh, this Viking drinking some wine or some beer and um, I already selected him from this uh, black background and I use the pen tool so you can take the pen tool and start from uh, let's say the bottom part and then just start to add some points and take some curves it doesn't have to be perfect here on uh, this fur and um, later on uh, on this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can uh, keep uh, the original fur uh, texture so um, that's the way I uh, selected him with the pen tool all right, and then when I finish the selection, I just uh, add the, the mask. All right, so um, this is the selection. As you can see, uh, it's not really perfect, but uh, it will be much, uh, much better really soon. So this is the photo of the Viking with a mask. And then I want to duplicate uh, this layer by pressing Ctrl J or drag this one here on the create new layer icon. So now let's uh, check uh, this uh, eye icon and hide. Uh, the copy. Let's uh, hide also the original uh, Viking to show you the background. So I use this background. This is a much wider picture but, but I uh, used only the right part uh, of uh, this dungeon. Now because I added him to this background of course he has uh, different colors so we need to match the color tones of uh, the Viking picture with our background. Usually when I'm trying to match the colors, uh, for me, selective color works the best. So I just add a selective color adjustment layer. I clip it inside the Viking uh, layer and then I play uh, with the neutrals this time at least. And by looking at the background, I see that uh, our background has some uh, magenta tones. So I'm trying to move the cyan's and the magenta and the yellows to match uh, his colors with our background. So Something like that. All right. So this is uh, before and this is after. I think uh, it looks okay. And then I'm going to add uh, on the background. I'm going to add some darkness. I'm using levels. And then I'm dragging this white slider to the left. Something like that. And then I'm going to invert the mask by pressing Ctrl and I. So now uh, if I take the brush tool and paint with white and the flow should be around 10% here on the bottom part, uh, it will darken those parts that I'm painting with the white color. Now I'm going to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer because we have some uh, yellow light that comes from the right side. So I'm going to check the colorize. Of course before that you should clip this to affect only the Viking. And then I'm, I'm going to match some uh, yellowish color uh, same as the light that uh, comes from the right side. And then I'm going to invert the mask again and taking uh, the same, the brush tool and I'm painting uh, a bit on the right side of uh, our Viking. And now I'm going to add some dodge and burn but I'm using the soft light method that I kept showing you in my tutorials. So I'm going to a layer, new layer and here on the mode I'm selecting soft light and fill it with 50% gray and I'm uh, naming this one dodge and burn. Now I'm holding alt and clip this inside the viking layer and now if I'm uh, painting with the black color I'm going to make the darker parts of uh, his picture more darker and if I paint with white I'm going to make those parts even whiter. Alright so this is the dodge and burn uh, this is uh, with and this is without. Now let's move on and add some more uh, highlights to this uh, Viking. So I'm adding uh, another layer. Go to layer, new, layer. And this time the mode should be linear dodge and fill it with black. Hold alt, click between the layers and you'll add this one inside the Viking uh, layer. Let's call this one highlight. Now I'm taking again the brush tool and this time I'm going to use some orange color and the flow should be around 3%. Alright, so when I finished I'm uh, double clicking on the layer and I'm holding Alt here on the blend if and drag the right slider more to the right. And this way it will disperse the 
orange color more. Now let me show you some uh, really cool technique to bring back parts of the original uh, selection, the fur and some parts of his hair. So we have uh, this copy of our Viking, uh, this one, and now I'm going to de erase the mask. So delete, right click on the mask and press delete layer mask. The most important thing on uh, about this picture is that we have uh, a black background. That means if we set the blending mode to screen, it will uh, hide that uh, black color and it will keep uh, the rest of the colors. So if uh, I'm zooming in, you'll see that uh, we have uh, the original hair back and also the selection on the fur and the uh, other parts that we couldn't select because it was impossible. So now, uh, because we uh, placed uh, this one, uh, this layer on screen, everything is uh, lighter. So we need to add an inverted mask. So hold Alt and while you are holding Alt, press on the mask and you'll see that it will add a black mask. But of course, everything is gone and we need to use the white color with a brush. So let's set the flow uh, to around 20%. And now with the brush and the white color, we are going to uh, paint where we uh, want to bring those parts back. Now go back to the highlights uh, layer and we are going to add another one. So. Go to layer, new layer and add the same linear dodge and fill it with black. And this one I'm going to name white highlights. All right, hold alt and click between the layers. And now I'm going to use again the brush tool. This time the flow should be around 10% and I'm going to lower the size of the brush. And now I'm going to paint uh, some uh, white uh, trace on his uh, body. At the end when you finish and uh, you think uh, you used the white color uh, too much, you can switch to the black color and uh, do the exact opposite. You paint with black on those parts where you think that uh, you use the white too much. And if you paint with black, it will hide that uh, white color. Now after adding the highlights, uh, I think he needs some uh, shadows, more shadows or a darker color uh, in front of his legs. So I'm going to add a new uh, levels adjustment layer and uh, I keep this one underneath the dodge and bar and the highlights and I'm going to uh, darken everything and then I invert the mask by pressing Ctrl and I and with the white color I'm going to paint on the bottom part and I will make uh, that part of his legs uh, darker now let's group uh, all the Vikings uh, elements into one group so Hold shift and select everything. I think this is it. And then press the group icon and let's name this one Viking. Now let's go underneath him, take the brush tool and create a new layer. And now set the blending mode to color dodge. And with a orange color and the flow set to around 3%, we are going to paint behind him and we will add some uh, orange highlights and we are going to do the same thing on top of him. So I'm going on top of this group, create a new layer and I'm going to paint with the same orange color. And in this way, I'm adding some uh, yellow lights, orange lights on uh, his body. And then I'm going to double click on the layer and use uh, the blend diff by holding alt and drag uh, this to the right more. And I will do the same thing with the uh, one underneath. So double click and hold alt and drag the slider more to the right. Now I want to add a tattoo on his chest and I have uh, this uh, tattoo uh, already made. And uh, of course you can use your own uh, tattoo. You can find a lot of uh, tattoos on the internet. 
and I want to have a destroyable uh, tattoo on his skin. Okay, so uh, our tattoo looks like that and uh, with uh, using the hard light uh, blending mode it will look much better. So I'm going to add a mask to this tattoo, click on the mask, then take the black uh, color, use the uh, brush tool and set the flow to 100%. And then I'm going to hide those parts that should be under the, that fur. Alright, so uh, this is how our tattoo looks like. And I'm going to lower the flow to around uh, 5% or 5%. And I'm going to hide some parts uh, of uh, this tattoo and to make it uh, look more uh, realistic. Alright, so we added the tattoo. And now it's time to uh, add the camera row filter. So press uh, on top of everything, press Ctrl Alt Shift and I, then right click, convert it to a smart object, go to filter, camera row filter. So those are the settings that I've used in the camera row filter. You can play around with uh, your settings if you want. And of course, always I add some detail with the sharpening, noise reduction, and also uh, on the effects, I use the grain and vignetting to add those uh, shadows around the picture. And of course, I added some color grading, uh, the mid-tones and highlights. Usually I keep them on the right side on the orange reddish part and the shadows. I keep them on the left side on the blue uh, area. All right. So those are the settings that I use in the camera row filter. And at the end, I want to add more sharpening to our image. So I'm pressing again. Ctrl, Alt, Shift and I and then I'm going to filter, other and choose high pass. And here I keep uh, the radius around one pixel and then I click OK. And on uh, blending mode I use uh, the vivid light. All right, so this is with the high pass and this is without. And then I'm going to do the same thing. So Ctrl, Alt, Shift and I go to filter, right click, convert it to a smart object, then go to filter and choose filter gallery. From here I'm choosing the glowing edges with those settings 2, 2 and 6 and then click OK. And let's zoom out and set this one to screen. At the end if you want more highlights you can add a color dodge uh, layer, set the blending mode to color dodge, then take the brush tool and be sure the flow is really low around 3-4%. And now uh, if we paint on the left side with some uh, blue color it will uh, make uh, that part uh, brighter and then on the right side I'm going to um, use some orange color and I'm going to paint on top uh, of uh, his hair and some parts. Then you can use the eraser tool just press the letter E and then uh, you can hide uh, some parts or erase some parts that uh, you didn't like. I hope you enjoyed this uh, week tutorial with the Viking. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please consider to subscribe. And also please check out my uh, Instagram page where I post uh, every week uh, new designs. So thank you so much for uh, being close to me and uh, see you next time.